Okay guys, now we're actually having a look at the uh, Ryzen motherboards from uh, MSI, the XT70 and the B350 boards. I'm just, I'm just going to quickly run through these because most of these boards have actually been released, uh, apart from two, which I'll, which I'll show you in a bit. So first up, we've got the MSI X370 X Power Gaming Titanium. This board's already been released. It's one of it's 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 the highest end board for Ryzen, and um, yeah, it's got it's got the complete feature set. It's got six it's 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 got six SATA. It's got dual channel uh, memory support for four DIMMs, uh, lovely silver color accent, uh, nice shroud, all all of that stuff. Moving onwards from. From the titanium, we've got the XT70 Gaming Plus. Again, all, already been released. Um, it's got pretty much the same feature set, but uh, it's kind of been uh, aesthetically tuned for gaming. Um, after that, another board that's already been released is the Crate XT70. That's already been uh, released, so you can, uh, you, you, can, you can just go out and check out the specs on this board. But um, again, different, different aesthetic. Uh, one, it's got it's, it's got black and white dims. It's it's, it's got bl even color across the PCIe slots, which is something I haven't seen before. Looks really nice. Um, I like the aesthetic actually. And um, this is your basic. It's 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 uh, it's a step down from the X70 Gaming Plus in terms of the lineup. But again, it's a very nice uh, gaming board for Ryzen from MSI. After that, we've got the XT70 SLI Plus. So for people who want to do Crossfire SLI configurations, you have uh, this board. Again, already been released. You can check this board out on MSI's website as well. Just the specs are already there. Uh, four memory DIMMs, six SATA, two X16 slots reinforced, the usual stuff, one eight pin power connector, and plenty of other expansion in terms of USB and stuff. So pretty good board all in all. Uh, very nice entry level board uh, for SLI configs or Crossfire configs on Ryzen. And then now moving on to the, the, the two boards that are actually brand new here. This one is the X370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC. Now we already have the X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. Now what the difference is between the AC and the Carbon is of course the bundling and uh, the bundling an AC card along with it. So you get Wi-Fi AC. It's got two M.2 slots so you can connect two M.2 drives. Uh, Six SATA, the, the, the layout is a little weird, but there's two ports here, there's four ports here. That's the Wi-Fi AC card. You've, you've also got USB 3.0 header right there. And a single eight pin uh, power connector for your CPU. Dual X16 slots, they've been reinforced as well, so you can very easily do SLI crossfire configurations. This last slot is an, X, this, this, this is an X8 slot, and that's an X1, and that's an X1 slot, and that's an X1 slot too. So for simple devices, this is coming from the PCH, rather your, your chipset, and these two are coming from the CPU. This one's also coming from the chipset as well. So very nice board, uh, new entry. It's got, the, it's got the AC card along with it. So yeah, I mean, it covers pretty much most of the bases that you need with gaming. And last but not least, this is the new one. This is the gaming M7. Now, this one is, is a much higher spec, I think. It's got, uh, it's got basically a, a much nicer aesthetic design. It's got reinforced memory slots. It's got reinforced uh, GPU slots. Um, again, the, the, these two are wired at X16. This one is wired at, at, at X8. Um, also, what we have here is uh, you've got an M.2 uh, heatsink uh, underneath here. So you can plug your two M.2 drives and this will keep them clean, the cool. One single eight pin, one single eight pin power connector. Uh, four memory slots, like I said, and we have six SATA ports, a USB 3.0, a debug LED, and that's pretty much it for the XC70 Gaming M7. Pretty nice board, this, this one's new, so if you're looking for something that's uh, a step up over the gaming uh, Pro Carbon, then you can look at the gaming M7, guys. Well, that just about wraps up our X370 coverage. Now I'd, now I'd just like to move on to the the B350 boards from uh, from MSI again very 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 nice uh, very nice simple boards um, you've got the B350 Tomahawk again this has been released you can check the specs out on the website holds an M.2 four memory channels only four only four SATA ports so that's something to keep in mind guys only four you've got an eight pin power connector all of that stuff but only four and um, yeah, uh, after that we've got the B350 Tomahawk Arctic. It's again a white colored board for pe 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 people who like this aesthetic. Even the memory slots are white. It looks it looks really pretty actually. So you've got the first PCIe slot that's actually white. I would have loved it if they'd carried on with that aesthetic and just gone with white slots. Here's something you don't see every day. This is PCI. 
it's been ages since we've seen PCI on any of the on 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 any motherboard. So that's interesting. So if you've got legacy PCI devices which you don't want to throw away, you can you can you can buy this board, plug them in, and you should be good to go. Very interesting concept, PCI right here. Um, it's something we haven't seen from anyone uh, really. And last but not least, we've got the B350M Morta. Again, this has been released. You can check this out on their site. Um, this is an M80X board, single X16 slot. This is an X8 slot, and you've got two X1 slots. Four memory, four memory channels, uh, four memory slots, dual channel, and you've got well, you have only four SATA ports on this one as well. So yeah. Uh, Limited in terms of uh, uh, storage and stuff like that, limited in terms of expandability, but it's an M80X platform for your Ryzen CPUs. That kind of covers most of the Ryzen boards that we have here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's a wrap, guys.